what are microtubules and how do they relate to some of these altered states of consciousness that xenon is helping to facilitate? This is a neuron right here and the cytoskeleton. So that's what gives form and shape and movement to a neuron that allows it to have the axons and the dendrites and connect to other neurons. Microtubules we know are important for cellular division, movement, detection. In single cell organisms, microtubules are still there. And like every part of life that you're going to see, there's a microtubule in it. The history of studying microtubules is vast and long, but at its core, if you look at like the ORCAWAR theory, which stands for Orchestrated Objective Reduction, they clearly have some processing ability. They have a mind to a degree. They're doing some really interesting things. If you were looking for like the core computer of a cell, it's definitely the microtubule organizing center. So they're really important. And um, I think these drugs like serotonin reuptake inhibitors and 5-HT agonists, things like LSD, psilocybin, DMT, they all are small enough to get close to these microtubules as well and exert similar types of constructive and destructive forces on our normal state of consciousness.